Oh boy. That's right. We're cracking open a theme booster box. Are you guys ready for some crazy excitement? Probably not. Well, then you've come to the right place. Here we go. Crime always pays. There's the decks that are going to be in here. Or uh, the guilds. Uh, we can't really call them gangs. I don't think we're supposed to do that. But, you know, uh, the hoods. Could we call them hoods? I don't see why not. All right. So this is uh, theme packs. Or theme boosters, I should say. And, uh, yeah, I have not been a huge fan of these over the past... I don't know how many years now. I think they're absolute dumpster fire. And Marcus is a crazy wild guy. Uh, but, yep, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Here we go. Opening all of the theme packs. Have they changed anything up in theme packs? Probably not. Should we actually get a little... Let's get a little cute thumbnail. Yahtzee. We could roll with that. Looks slick. All right, guys. Let's see if there's anything different up in here. I don't know, man. We're going to do by color. We're going to go by color to start cracking, Captain. I'm not even going to spoil it. And look at the back. I'm just hoping one of these days you guys stop buying this crap. <laughs> so we don't got to see it anymore. We're starting with the theme booster, the brokers. All right. 35 cards inside. So far, sounds like nothing new. I did say, I've been asking them, please, oh, not this again. You can't open it from the top. I've been asking them a billion times, I say in my videos, Wizards, please, give us at least two guaranteed cards in here. Or at least give us some, like, maybe a, a, a chance for a rare or something. Whoops, that one flew out. Uh, don't steal that thing, it's you. And uh, that would be cool. Like, make it worth the money, because these are like 7 or $8. And with inflation, you're looking at almost 10 bucks. Uh, especially with uh, prices going up 11%. That's crazy sauce. Uh, nine times, nah, not even nine out of 10. 19 times out of 20, these are not worth it. You just got to get extremely lucky. Um, you basically get a whole bunch of uncommon and common cards. That's how these go. Unless they did something different, which so far we're not seeing it. Some duplicates. There you go. I'm going to fly through this actually. Back up, Celestial. Come on, be something different in the back. Come on, wizards. Come on, you say there's a possibility to get two. Why don't you just guarantee us two? Brokers, butler, server, mm-hmm, magpie, initiate, and fight rigging around the world with Russell Crowe. All right, we got ourselves a fight rigger. So for $8, you get yourself one of those. That's not good. <laughs> not, a, not only that, but they make it really difficult to even open the package. So that's a deterrent to even pick one up. Again, uh, this is, if you think Walmart uh, mystery cubes are bad, you're sadly mistaken, pal. This is way worse. Uh, and this is straight from Wizards of the Coast. The value is just not here. Now, if if you just want to have some fun, balling on a budget, just want to, you know, try out the new set, get a very small glimpse of it, mostly in the common and uncommon slots, then, by all means, go ahead and pick yourself up one of these for eight. Probably, it's going to be like $9 after the 11% hike. Nine, ten bucks, roughly. Uh, but right now, they should still be around seven, eight. Um, but yeah, have some fun. You got to get lands, though. They don't include lands in these. I, it's just stupid. It, it's, it's stupid. They're, they're just the worst product. You don't hear me complain too much. But this, we're complaining about. They're streetwise mentor, sure, dude. So right now, we are getting bashed really hard. No surprise whatsoever. On to the next one. This is the black. Uh, nope, not black. This is Thane Booster, the Maestros. The Maestros. All right. Can we have some good luck in here? I just want to find uh, a foil inside of one of them. One of these days. Just give me a foil. Let me just find something crazy that we're not expecting. No one's expecting it. And then, boof, I'll pop the foil. You know? That would make the day. That would make me day. All right, whoops. All right, let's do this. Glamour Thief. I'm just zipping through. I know. I know. Hey, look at that. So you do get some alternate arts in here. Or alternate frames. Fake your own death. That's cool. Incriminate with the bookcase. Creepy chick. Mm -hmm. 
Big score. Rumble, come on, now. incriminate. Forge boss, yeah. I let him up. Translation. Fatal grudge. No. Cut the profits. Oh, Wizards really is. Ouch. Again. Don't open these ever. You're gonna regret it right away. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up if you do not plan on purchasing one of these at all. Appreciate you. Don't see what's best uh, yeah. Here we go. Come on, my skidoo bags. Let's let's try to make this not a complete dumpster fire. We're giving it our all. We'll see how it goes. Maybe a reprint or something, you know. No commander cards inside of these. Uh, it's straight from uh, the set, which I think is a good idea. You know, we have commander cards being thrown in every other product, so it's nice to see that. And for the close of this one, cut your losses. <sighs> cut your losses and don't pick this up. Wow, this is ramming up ruins right here. All right, out of the red one. This one is Riveteers, the ri Rive Tears. Rivals. All right, here we go. There's a restaurant not far from me called Rivals. Cool, cool. All right, we got the Body Dropper. I like his name, though. That's like a little jerk, huh? He'll mess you up, bro. He will mess you up. I want to hear from the people who do pick this up. And who picks it up on the regular? I want to get your brain examined. Okay, here we go. Riveteers Charm. I mean, we might as well skip all, all this and just go right to the very last card. But it's, you're paying $9, roughly, $9 to basically get hosed and to get one rare or mythic, which it's usually a rare. Seldom do you get two, but it does happen. The Angel of Suffering, hooray! These theme decks are suffering. So we did get, oh, our Megan suffer. One mythic so far, no dual rare mythic packs just yet. Opening 10 of these. And if I'm not mistaken on the back, at least one, at least one rare or mythic. At least one. I don't guys, I don't know how this product is still coming out. It's that bad. Please. Stop buying it. <laughs> uh, I'm opening it so you can see how bad it is. Like, what is wrong with you guys? Stop buying this. This, is, this should not be on shelves anymore. Zero reason this should be on shelves. Everything about this product is just a dumpster fire. Unless we see something completely different, or they put like a random serial numbered card in here, something that just blows my friggin' mind, which is not going to happen. Uh, stop. Stop buying them, man. Charm, Outlook, Shadow of Mortality. Oh, God. Oh, man. All right. We'll see you, maestros. All right, we are on to the Cabaretti. Cabaretti. Two of these. So if you wanted to buy this whole box, you're looking at like a 100, about 110 bucks after tax. Oh, that's crazy. Um, with the price increase, at least. But they were eh, like 75 to 85. Don't do this, okay? Don't do this. Here we go. On the next. Come on, baby. <laughs> you're like, you're going too fast. Maybe. Maybe I am. There's probably a good reason for that. Ready to rumble? Yeah, I don't think too many people are focused on like, oh, what common and uncommons am I going to get in here? Oh, man. They're, you know, I need to know which one's the 21 cent and which one's the 3 cent. Well, you're in luck. They're probably all three. Ma, I thought I said Moss Wanted. I'm like, that's cool. Strangle. Wow. Okay, two Mythics. Getting some luck here, Chuck. Getting some luck here. Vivian on the hunt. Pretty cool. We got two Mythic Pools. That uh, That's cool, but again, that's luck. It doesn't change my thoughts on this product. Unless they increase the number of Mythic cards you can get, which they seem to have done that in the set boosters, but oddly enough, not in collector boxes. What? <laughs> it's nutty, man. Nutty times we're living in at Wizards. All right, here we go. Um, they do they do have something exclusive with this product, though, and that's crap, okay? <laughs> and burning a hole in your wallet. They do have that. Angel Advisor. The spell costs one less cash for each citizen you control. Okay, that's terrible. All right, let's see what else. Initiate. Take to the streets. 
I thought that said gathering thongs. Yeah, sure. Social climber. Oh, sure. Kiss the ring. All right. Darling of the masses. I like some of the name of the cards. Some of the names. Brass knuckles. All right. Are we going to get something crazy? Probably not. Extraction specialist. Yikes. No double rare mythic pack yet. Last one to go. The Obscura. All right. Well, this one. Be our rise to glory. One theme deck to rule them all. All right, guys. Let's see it. Patch up. De dead? I thought it said dead gone bad. Deal gone bad. <laughs> Raffines. A lot of that. Oh, oh Raffines for days. Security bypass. Sure. Metamorphosis. Man, the art still is cool. Um, This set, not the biggest fan of the artwork on this set. Very colorful and bright and vibrant and dark. Dark theme with some bright colors, you know. And that just seems like it's out of place when you go from, like, the stuff to, like, wee, you know. But it is it is what it is. All right. Can we get one pack with a double rare mythic? The answer is no. Another mythic. Maybe they have made a change. Or we're just getting lucky. That's three mythic pools. That's three out of the ten. Is that normal? I think I'm used to like two. So, I mean, I guess we just got a little lucky. There, This is probably not the new norm. Um, and even then, even then, no, it's not worth it to buy this. Even if we got a, if we got a mythic in every single one, I mean, that would just change the dynamics of everything. So it's hard to even say that. But if they would maybe do at least two or three double rare mythic packs per case which has 10 then maybe <sighs> maybe but even then i probably wouldn't do it even then i probably wouldn't do it we haven't hit one yet will the very last one be it probably all right case the joint nimble share no shed it seraph <laughs> god these are terrible uh don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Um, if you're in the neighborhood, check out Ground Zero, Strongsville, Ohio. Really cool place. Tell Marcus, Joey, sew it up. And uh, if you get him to say bye to you when you walk out the door, you can get a signed Evolving Wilds. It's that simple. There's very limited supply. I think there's five or six in there. But now you know what you got to do. When they're out, they're out. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't buy this crap. Skadoosh.